Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thorne. In today's video, we're talking about what you, based on your 16 personalities, have in common with Leonardo da Vinci, the great polymath. And the truth was, Leonardo was a polymath and a Renaissance person with a wide range of specializations who didn't limit himself to any field and also to <laughs> any hobby. He was interested in everything and everyone, allowing him to demonstrate and showcase qualities that we'd normally associate and assume would be the case only of a specific personality type. Now, as an ISFJ, you might be surprised to realize you have a lot in common with Leonardo da Vinci because Leonardo was, like you, highly caring about other people and highly compassionate about animals. And as a vegetarian and as a pacifist, he was strongly against war and is even said to have built many of his inventions with a wide range of various flaws to make them impossible to use on the battlefield. Leonardo, beyond just this, was also going to show a lot of qualities that have gotten him often considered to be an ENTP personality type. He was highly inventive, had lots of ideas and more ideas than he could hope to ever realize in reality, right? But considering this, he also was highly productive as a person. Like an ESTJ, Leonardo was actually one of the most prolific and hardworking individuals we can see today. He has created and driven and realized many of his ideas and has done a lot of really hard work to get his ideas realized. Of course, he didn't make anything, <laughs> everything, but he did actually achieve and accomplish a lot. And like an INTP, we can say that Leonardo da Vinci was a person that was highly driven and passionate about science and scientific development and figuring out how the universe worked. He wanted to understand the natural laws of the world and he wanted to understand the science and he, d he took care to use a critical process to come up with his ideas, to test and measure what he said, and to make sure that he did it the right way. Now, besides showing qualities like this, like an ISTJ, he was also highly meticulous. He made a great deal of effort to make sure that his notes were highly precise, that he measured everything exactly as to the right degree and to the right <laughs> amount, and he was a person that took care to make sure that the things he did were done in a highly organized and straightforward fashion. Like an ENFP, Leonardo can also have been said to be quite a divergent thinker. He was a person that wrote from right to left, in a sense, upside down, to make it very hard to read. His mirrored writing style made his notes very difficult to decode, and the way he thought about things and how he communicated himself means he created his own language. And as an ENFP, ENFPs tend to be highly prolific in creating their own language and unique ways of expressing themselves, and so did Leonardo da Vinci. Like an ESFJ, he was also a good people person. He was able to work with a lot of people and he was quite well liked and quite, quite uh, appreciated for who he was as a person. The social butterflies he was, he was able to really connect with and build networks and work with other people to realize his ideas. Like ESFJs, Leonardo seems to have excelled at code switching, which is when you're able to switch how you talk depending on who you're talking with. Of course, you can't talk like a scientist around a person that has no clue how the scientific process works. And so you have to learn to adjust your speaking style to the person you're speaking with. Like an INTJ, Leonardo can have been said to be quite the visionary. Strategic, forward-oriented, he had a big plan for his future. He was constantly working towards new ideas and he always had something in his mind that he wanted to make and turn into reality. And this can be similar to the INTJs that often have this idea in their head that they're trying to realize in the world in some way or fashion. And of course, like an ENFJ, Leonardo can also have been said to be quite a teacher and mentor figure for others. He took on many apprentices who he helped and spent a lot of time and effort into teaching and supporting and helping come into their own. And also, like an ISTP, he was a natural engineer and a person that understood mechanical principles and how they worked and was able to apply them critically and well in order to create all kinds of different machines, even hypothesizing the first machines that we could use for flying. Like an ISFP, Leonardo was quite a skilled artist. And he wasn't just an artist, he was really good at just drawing and creating and experimenting with different styles. And he was really good at mastering and creating new styles and new and unique ways to draw and to use color in quite the advanced way. In, a few, in the past, we didn't really have the kinds of colors and the kinds of drawing techniques that we have in the modern world. And so he was a big part of coming up with new ways to paint and inspiring new styles. Leonardo could also have been argued to be quite the ENTJ. I'm certain he would have given 
uh, Thomas Edison a run for his money when it came to registering patents in the modern age. His ability to come up with and bring idea out new ideas that could have had a lot of economic profit and could have driven a lot of innovation and entrepreneurship is highly inspiring for most ENTJs. Like an ESTP, Leonardo was really good at taking a hands-on approach to science. Like an ESTP, Leonardo engaged in the process of trial and error and used his hands in a straightforward and practical approach to figure out a lot of things, including inspecting the human body and dissecting the human body. He was not afraid of anything and he didn't have those kinds of icky qualms or properly he did, but he ignored them, right? And he was able to let his passion and curiosity lead him into new situations where he didn't know what to expect or what was going to happen. And he was able to be quite adaptive in thinking and figuring out how those things worked. And like an ESFP, he could have been said to have been highly nature driven. He had looked to nature for inspiration and learned a lot by studying animals, birds and trees and different things. And this also inspired many of his concepts and his ideas. This could have been said to have been nature intelligence, which is a skill that ESFPs and ESTPs seem to be really skilled at. Like an INFJ, Leonardo was quite interested in many existential questions and philosophy and academic and theoretical subjects. He was more than interested in all kinds of theories about how things worked and quite well read on different theories and ideas of his time. He also came up with his own ideas and he was certainly a highly original thinker. And like an INFP, he was passionate about the idea of balance. And like an INFP, Leonardo had this ability to see beauty in everything. He created his golden ratio to manifest the idea of balance and he was passionate about the idea of balance and balancing different aspects of life. And this was something he used in engineering and his scientific approach and it was something that revealed his introspective nature and his more sensitive nature because it takes a sensitive mind to recognize and to see when things are in balance and when things are out of balance. And so we can see in Leonardo a person that was and showcased skills that every single personality has. And so in him we can also see an ideal for every one of us. We should all aspire to learn from one another, to aspire to have and understand and see the world like other personalities do, to think like other personalities do, to learn to develop skills that other personalities have. We should not limit ourselves to just one personality or one way of thinking. Such an existence would keep us from seeing the bigger whole around us and would, made us, would make us struggle in a wide range of different situations. Polymath is somebody that works hard to not just learn and to get interested in a subject, but to master it and to develop an advanced understanding of that field or of that subject, of uh, that sphere. There is nothing that isn't interesting if you think about it. You can make anything interesting by learning to work from a position of flow and from inspiration and love for all of humanity. At least that's what I think. Let me know what you think and what you will find most inspiring about Leonardo in the comments down below. And thank you so much for watching.